it was heartbreaking to see yourself, to feel like a beast or an alien. I'm thinking my husband has to be thinking the same thing. How could he not? My story began six years ago. Life was good. Married to my high school sweetheart, love of my life. Me and Donna started dating when I was 16, she was 15. Initiated at a party. She needed a ride home that night when my friends gave her a ride home and I knew at that moment, I literally thought in the backseat of that car, this is who I'm gonna marry. Life was predictable. And then, in a moment, everything changed. Three little words, it is cancer. My stable world became a world of unknown, a world of fear. The recommendation for a double mastectomy and breast reconstruction was my option. And a few days before the surgery, I think that's the first time in my life I realized that I had never totally 100% depended on God or trusted in Him. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I really wanted God to give me the cancer. I wanted it. I couldn't do anything else. I prayed so hard that, that I could take it, that I could take it on. Not wanting her to go through it. I didn't want her. Had to be tough. I didn't want her to have to be strong. I wanted to be that far. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I heard, I heard somehow, do not fear, I'm with you. I am your God. I will give you strength. So from that day on, I saw hope as being something different. Hope was now a person. It was not just, you know, I hope it don't rain or just a casual word of something you just kind of wished for. Now something shaping me and molding me. After the surgery, I went through a really long, painful 10-month process of breast reconstruction. It was time for the second surgery, which I was so excited about. I was going to have me back. The outcome was not successful. My doctor decided we would have a third surgery, and that surgery was also a failed reconstruction. For the next year and a half, I was uncomfortable, pretty much in pain 24-7. I've been in a lot of pain in my life as a career, I had injuries and surgeries. And... But to watch my wife go through the pain. I was so angry at God. You wonder why things like this can happen. I cried every single day. It was so painful. I had to really start praying and asking Jesus to 
changed the way that I saw myself. It took a long time for me to be able to do that. Um, if I'm honest, it's still hard now because I'm not on the other side yet. I'm not finished with surgeries. I'm not complete or whole again. So sometimes it's just a daily battle to look at myself the way Jesus sees me. I have had 11 surgeries and looking at surgery number 12 in the fall, but I finally see light at the end. The cancer has been probably one of the greatest gifts in my life. The friendships that I have developed with some breast cancer survivors are priceless and I would not trade those friendships for anything. My wife has brought so much more strength to me. It's helped me to be more prepared in my prayer life, to really rely on God, because there was times where I'm completely helpless. That's tough to do because as a man, you really want to be able to fix things and, or as a, a husband, you want to be able to help. And, and when you can't and you have to rely on something else, it's, it's hard. I really had to trust even more that the Lord knew and knows what he's doing. Cancer has taken so much from us. It's taken time. It's taken my wife's some body parts. But the one thing it cannot take, it can't take our joy. And that joy, it's really, it comes back to the hope. So I'm not complete yet, physically, but I'm complete spiritually. I'm exactly the person that God made me to be. I'm complete in His eyes. And I finally believe my husband when he says I'm complete and he is. This journey has enhanced my compassion for others going through hard stuff, hard times, cancer, because you know now what's going on behind the scenes. My name is Donna Ward. My name is Turner Ward, and I am second. And I am second.